As you probably know, I've had a long career in graphic design and illustration. Today I want to teach you the difference between drawing a life figure, a cartoon figure and a caricature. You will find this a really useful tool if you want to start a career in this field or even if you just want to make your own zine. Let's look first at the life figure. So the fundamental difference to these three types of illustration is the proportion, the head heights. In nature, the average height of the human form is seven and a half heads. The figure that measures eight heads seems to be the most convenient for measuring. The legs start about halfway down. This figure has about eight head lengths to her body. For a cartoon, there will be fewer head heights per body length. If I was doing a cartoon for an advertising brochure or for an instruction manual, I'd probably use about five or six heads figure height. This number of head heights will keep the illustration fun without making fun of your subject. I'm using a watercolour pencil which will disappear when I go over it with waterproof Indian ink. The head heights are a great help when you start putting your figure on different angles and in different perspectives. Political or satirical cartoons often measure two or three heads high, but I sometimes take um, caricature to the opposite extreme of about eight bodies per one head. Often I'll use ink and brush, it gives character to the line work. Then it's a good idea to take a copy and if you have access to good computer software you can scan it in, I photograph it, and add graduations of colour on different layers. But here I'm using watercolour pencils which will easily give me roundness of forms through subtle shading. I'm putting a skin tone over the whole surface of the face. Well, basically, um, starting with three colours here, skin tone, a blue for shadows, and a red, I mean pink, for um, a wall to warm up the flesh tone. So proportion has a large part to play in illustration, drawing, and cartooning. By changing proportion, you can easily create a cartoon. Thanks for watching and keep your pencil sharp.